Hey YouTube, welcome back to a brand new video. Today we are recapping the latest events in Animal Crossing Pocket Camp, as well as taking a look at some brand new cookies. So without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. So first of all, Happy New Year everyone. I hope you all had a safe and enjoyable end to 2018 and are feeling good about the year ahead. Of course, we have a whole bunch of things to look forward to and we can finally say Animal Crossing Switch is coming out this year, which is amazing. I plan on doing a lot of speculation videos with trailer and gameplay breakdowns and of course covering everything surrounding Animal Crossing Switch as and when any new information is announced. In the meantime, Pocket Camp is still going strong, so let's get into it. Right now there are a bunch of things happening, with the main event being Tour Timer's Floral Fancy Garden event. Much the same as the previous garden events, Tour Timer has stopped by and asked us to plant and harvest all new types of peonies flowers in hopes of attracting some of his all time favourite creatures known as Ripple Wings. As always this event has been broken up into two halves, with part two having started just yesterday. Of course with it being a garden event, Tour Timer has some all new zen like furniture items up for grabs for helping him out. These items include the floral butterfly hairpin, the red camellia cushion, the gold camellia cushion, the camellia tatami screen and camellia katana display, the camellia arrangement, the camellia goldfish bowl which I think might be my favourite and finally the blue haori set and the purple wedding kimono which is just wonderful. As always the garden event also includes some third tier hidden tasks for those who complete the event in good time, offering up some bonus colour variant prizes including the purple haori set and the pink wedding kimono. Now don't worry if like me you still have a bunch of creatures to catch as there is still plenty of time left with the event ending on the 7th of January. Now just like the last couple of months the garden event is the first to reward a brand new event material for this month's month long chili jamboree event. In short, we collect a new material each month from each event to unlock some seasonal goals and earn some cool prizes. This month's material is snowballs and the gold prizes include the green pom pom knit hat, a cute snow bunny and finally the snowman igloo. We earn way more snowballs during these events than we actually need to complete these goals so don't worry too much if you miss some. Now running alongside the chili jamboree and these events is also a kimono collection that is available to craft. Some of these items in this collection include the blossoming dress, the striped blossom kimono, the diamond kimono, the modern hakama, the red zori, the purple zori, black zori and white tabby footwear. These items are part of the premium collection so cost leaf tickets to craft and are only available for a short while ending in just two weeks. Percy, I think I'm happy with the kimonos available from the events so I'll probably give this collection a miss but if you do have some spare leaf tickets this would be a great place to spend some if you want to. Now over the Christmas and New Year's holiday we also had the chance to complete some bonus timed goals to earn some New Year 2019 neon signs and a New Year's hat. Just today every single player also received a New Year tiara in our mailboxes too which is cool. And finally to wrap up the recent content added to Pocket Camp is of course two brand new fortune cookies. Just last week Gladys's Camellia cookie became available to buy offering up some awesome Camellia Zen like items which fit perfectly alongside Tour Timer's garden event prizes. The items available include the Camellia Arch Bridge, the Camellia Veranda, the Crimson Umbrella Table, the Snowy Camellia Tree, the Snowy Camellia Hedge, the Deer Scare and Stepping Stones, the Camellia Hairpin Wig, the Camellia Kimono and finally the Camellia Haori which is great. And just this morning the Nordic patch cookie also became available which includes some colour variants of the items available from Stitch's patchwork cookie. The items available in this cookie include the large patchwork bear, the patchwork bear sofa, the patchwork ghostlet sofa, the patchwork bear table, the hammock, bear lamp and bear rug, the patchwork bear hood, the patchwork shirt and finally the patchwork pants. Of course these items are very similar to Stitch's items but are great for those who missed the Stitch's cookie the first time around or prefer a warmer more wintry feel and design. Personally I'll probably stick with the Stitch's items as they are some of my favourite but I do hope to find one or two of these cookies available for Bells in the marketplace. As always both of these cookies can be purchased for 50 leaf tickets each or in a box of 5 for 250 leaf tickets. So yeah as always lots of stuff going on in pocket camp with even more to follow and of course Animal Crossing Switch is just around the corner arriving at some point this year so look out for new speculation videos and announcements about that. So yeah that pretty much covers all the latest news surrounding Animal Crossing pocket camp right now. As always if you would like even more updates don't forget to head over to my Patreon at patreon.com forward slash mayomori and of course I would like to thank every single supporter over there too you guys are truly amazing 
Anyway, if you got this far in the video, please comment Camellia just to let me know you did, that would be super awesome. And be sure to include if you like these Zen style items and whether or not you're going to be crafting a premium kimono. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it entertaining. Please be sure to leave a like if you did. Thanks for watching, I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.